It's possible. It is possible. And it's true. And you are seeing 100% great. I'm back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made any videos whatsoever. But after, I think it's two years, if I'm not mistaken, two years. Um, it's time to make a comeback. And the comeback shall be Lee Boy. So where do we start? Well, as most of you know, Lee Boy's been standing for two and a half years. The last time I drove it, I completely fudged up the motor. Literally, all four pistons fried. Um, was in a full boost pull, and then Lee Boy just decided, boom, inject Osito, I'm done. No engine light, no nothing. We're just standing next to the road. Um, got home, did a compression test, and if I say there was no compression, I mean there was literally no compression. I'll add the video. <laughs> add the video, then you can see. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can just imagine how I felt. So I was gutful. Literally gutful. I just, Lee Boy just had my number. No matter what Neil and myself did, um, we just never, we just never got ahead of the problem. It was always something. We went one step forward, three steps back. So the car's been standing for two and a half years. And I just went out of my life. Coming into the garage, as you can see, this garage is a bit of a dog show. Parts everywhere, I need to sort this out, and it's been going on for a couple of years now already, but... So, then I got, I made contact with JP Motorsport. And that's where the whole conversation thing started. So after a couple of emails, phone calls to JP Motorsport, speaking to Jock and JP, I realized that step one, Injectors were needed. There was no no two ways about it So last year I ordered the tips and Just went on with my life completely forgot about that No, I wouldn't say forgot about it. Just you know, you need to wait patiently before it will come in to customs, etc, etc So whilst we were waiting um, Jock and myself we had we had a couple of conversations well actually a lot of communication and 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 um, contact regarding JP and them building Lee Boy's motor because clearly whatever myself did and Neil what we did I mean from the beginning we said we are not professionals we are not mechanics we watch a couple of YouTube videos and we wrench in the garage and we hope for the best and clearly it was just not working so Lee Boy needed more professional attention. Lee Boy wanted to be at a place where the people know what they are doing, that they know how the inner workings of diesels work. And I also just had to get the car out of here to get the ball rolling. So once the car was out, then I would have started. So listen, okay, cool, let's 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 get it done. Let's get it done. So after after making my mind, saying, okay, well. Clearly, Lee Boy is going down to Paul, going down to JP Motorsport. I had to get the car down there. So, that was the biggest problem for me, to be honest, as I don't really trust a lot of people, especially if I don't know somebody. And I don't have a bucky. So, by not having a bucky, I couldn't get a low bed to get Lee Boy down to Paul, to JP Motorsport. I had one or two opportunities, which just didn't work out. Then I got hold of Rudy. He was in Bloemfontein, based in Bloemfontein, but he does a lot of runs, Pretoria, Cape Town, um, and he does transport a lot, a lot of classic cars. So we had a conversation, got my prices, and then I paid it, I paid the amount, and Thursday evening I had to run around to get Lee Boy prepped. And if I say prepped, I mean prepped. I literally had to stack all the extra parts that I had. Um, if you remember, we still put in a import motor. So I think clearly, Libre was never happy with the import motor. So I had to get the OG head, OG, OG motor, sort of on a crate, wrapped up. I wanted to send that with Libre. Got all the parts, everything sorted. And on Friday, it was a Friday morning at 5, uh, Rudy rocked up um, and he loaded Libre. And Libwe was set off to a journey, boom, to JP Motorsport. 
after waiting, I think, 10 hours, about 10, 11 hours, got the notification that Lee Boy's been dropped off and it's safely at Paul, then I could have started relaxing, you know, it, um, so many things can happen, it's, 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 I do stress a lot regarding that, as soon as some, something's out of my hands, I've got a habit of stressing a bit, and if it does boil down to my cars, I'm one of those individuals, if, even if I should take the car to a car wash, uh, I will drive the car. Um, so after I got the notification that Libo is there safely, and I got the pictures, then the work started. So then I knew, listen, I'm going to get a list. We're going to have a lot of phone calls. We're going to have a lot of discussions. I know the uh, JP Motorsport will pick up on some things that I've overlooked um, because in my head... The, in my head was literally just a motor rebuild. I mean, the turbo was done a couple of years prior to that. Um, you know, and we hardly drove the car, to be honest, with all the issues we always had, Lee Boy. So I was expecting, okay, we've got an X amount of things that need to be done. Um, I'm, I sort of, I've done Lee Boy's motor. We have rebuilt a Lee Boy's motor many years ago. So I sort of know the process. But, you know, we had a couple of discussions. We're just going to keep things basic. Um, I don't want a super powerful TDI that's only going to last a couple of months. You know, it's going to make enormous figures. I just decided, you know what, I don't, I don't want to push the numbers. I want to enjoy the car. I want to feel how it feels to have the car available and to get in the, the car and just go for a drive and not worry about something breaking again. Because it's been going like that for the past couple of years. <laughs> Again, the roller coaster ride up and down, up and down, up and down. So needless to say, um it's it's for me it's it's it feels long. You know, with Liboy not here, yeah, we've got Magog. So this is Magog standing in the garage. We've got Lady in the garage now and Demon standing outside and then mommy's taxi next to her. So it does, I do enjoy the space because the space is a bit of an issue to have all these cars in one yard, to be honest. But I do miss the car. And yeah, so communication happened. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't say happened. It's still happening. But um, it's it's going well, to be honest. It's going well. Um, it's weird me sitting here, but I'm getting a lot of feedback from JP and them. So it feels like Lee Boy is peaceful. Lee Boy is literally taking it like a boss. So in my head, I've got my figures. I've got an X amount of figures and an X amount of talk that I would like Lee Boy to achieve. Uh, again, if it's not achieved, it's not going to be in the world because I want to enjoy the car. You know, for the past two and a half years with my car standing, I mean, the guys have literally gone so far with the TDIs and pushed the boundaries and they've made exceptionally good numbers and they've ran proper good times at the drag racing. So for me, I miss the boat. Um, I think everybody that owns a TDI wants the flex, wants to know that, you know, their TDI can literally stop the rotation of Earth because there are a couple of them out there. But I just want Lee Boy back. I just want the little smoker, the obnoxious smoker, to have a bit of a smoking problem in the streets, hitting the, you know, the popcorn limiter, and just having fun. So for me, I don't know what to expect, to be honest. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. But I think once I get the car back, it's going to be a completely transformation, a complete transformation. Uh, it's going to be completely something different. Um, the manner in which I sort of how I can remember Lee Boy drove and how the power delivery was. Yeah. I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited. So obviously this is just a small video. Literally just a small video. And from now on, I know I've, I've said this numerous times, but there will be more videos uploaded. So once Lee Boy is done, I will be flying up to, to Paul, to Cape Town, obviously, to go collect Lee Boy. And then I've got a road trip back to Bloemfontein, where myself and Lee Boy, you can sort of get in touch. We can sort of meet again, all over, even though I've owned the car since 2009. But this whole big turbo setup, 
it's just never been on par the way I wanted that to be. And we started that in 2016, if I'm 100%, where Lee Boy just boosted 1.9 bar, and it drove like a champ, 100% champ, um, until I fried a piston doing top end runs on the stock injectors. Again, not learning my lessons, doing my 250, if I'm not mistaken. I think that video has been posted, I think that video was posted like five or six years ago, maybe eight, I'm not even sure. And ever since then, um, I thought, listen, let's upgrade. You know, we did a couple of upgrades, Lee Boy, big exhaust, um, uh, you know, more boost. Obviously, that did not work. So now is the first time that Lee Boy will be done the proper way. Absolutely, from top to bottom, from the beginning to the end, from A to Z and back. Um, so I am excited. I don't know what you expect. I'm excited. I do hope that he does achieve the goals. I'm going to call him he because it's Lee Boy. It's stubborn. All the other cars here, they are all ladies. I mean, we've got lady here. Um, a demon is a lady. We've got, you know, even Magog, the old girl. But Lee Boy is just a pain, of, pain in the ass like I can be. Stubborn as I can be as well. But when he comes to the party, he can rock a party. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a brand spanking new car from the word go. Obviously, if you want to know the process and what happened, you need to like the, like the channel and subscribe. And I promise you there will be more videos because Lee Boy will be done and I want to enjoy the car. So that is my update. I hope it's going well with everybody. And uh, keep your eyes open the channel. There will be more videos to follow.